Ugh. Let's talk to him, shall Excuse we? Excuse me. Until he's done doing that. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. Okay. I'll have to run some tests. You won't miss one kidney. Stand behind the scanner, please. This is probably when we find out that my uh, kidneys are useless. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. <laughs> I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? Interesting. What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? <laughs> okay. Excuse me. So... I can't sell my kidneys. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. Okay, let's try your lungs. On the scanner? Yes, please. Let's have a look at there and see... Let's see what our lungs look like. Hard skin, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Eh? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Why not? Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc, I can take it. Sure. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Is there anything you'll take Excuse of mine? Me. Name me my testicles. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Oh, good. Oh, at least I don't use my balls now. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? <laughs> oh, no. It doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. <laughs> you now have a Schriebman port. Yay! You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Excuse me. Your receptionist certainly is strange. Yeah, she is. That's my wife you're talking about. Oh. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. <laughs> Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I doubt it. I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend, Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. Hmm. Thanks again for the port, Doc. Yeah. It's a pleasure to do business with you. So great, when I die, he gets my balls. I get the idea that people in this place don't live very long. Okay. We want to go to the insurance guy. We've been directed there by Lamb, we've also been directed there by our good old friend Burke.
Now this guy's interesting. I like his insurance place. It is called... Note this place is a little bit more dingy. It is called Anchor Insurance. Can't read the sign. Oh god, look at his grin. Don't get washed away, get an anchor policy. It's a statue. A guy in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. The anchor is firmly attached to the statue. That doesn't look good. It shows the state of business. Ah! And it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. Hello! Oh dear, Grin Man. Hi! You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Um... Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. Uh... Joey would never do that. Wouldn't he? Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% Oh, here he goes. of all domestic droid owners get killed are worried about the risk of attack. But I'm not one of them. This is bullshit, Foster. Don't listen to that moron. Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? Yeah. I'm not interested. Do you have a client called Overman? Hmm. I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? No. Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? No. Uh, no. Do you know what sex this person is? Male. Well, presumably he's male. At last, we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, un... Sex, male, possibly. No, there's no Overman on my records. Okay. Do you have a client called Reich? Can't you get the information from Link? I need to know what policies he has. Yeah, because I've got them now. Right, huh? Uh, what's his first name? I don't know. Oh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Thought you said he was your friend. I've got hundreds of Reichs on my files. Oh dear. Um. Uh... I want one of your special policies. Ooh. Who sent you? Dr. Burke. Ooh. The ghoul, huh? He's cool. <laughs> so, how can I help you? He needs to get to ground Can you level. get me out of the city? Ooh. It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? Not anymore. That's a delicate subject. <laughs> Wait here. I have to make a call. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. Yeah. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Probably don't have time, though. Aha! My anchor. Yoink! <whistles> Wonder if he notices that that's gone. I wonder if I can combine the anchor with the cable. Yes. Thought so. Give me an analysis, Joey. This is going to be basic. How clever. You've made a grappling hook. Let's see if the man has anything to say. Any luck with your contact? Doubt it. Security have put a hold on comms. Seems there's a saboteur on the loose. Hmm, I wonder who that is. 
Can you help me oh. get to ground level? We'll just quickly do this bit. Ah, what you need is travel insurance, yeah? No. Just to use an elevator? Hey, man, those things are death traps, yeah? Oh, dear. Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. I'm not interested. One moment, we'll be right back.